little more. Okay, so up here I'm leaving Moore Park now. I guess there's a little bit of a boating dock area there for the lake. Not a lot of takers, but there is a facility, it appears. Some rocks with copious moss growth on them. That should all crumble to dust. A little bit of pine. This is saying, what is this? Is this... Klamath Basin Birding Trail. Okay, so you want to go birding? You know, okay, there we go. There's some, man, okay, get some birding. <laughs> Look for birds, there's some birds right there. Bird trail right now, you know about that. I want to go there sometime. That's it. Big power lines coming to town. Some of these facilities, I don't know, you know what, is, what is that, electrical facility down there? What is it, swimming pool? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Traffic separator ahead, here comes Highway 97. My only real worry is my house collapsing or me not being able to walk, me losing my ability to walk well on the ice when I'm an old man. But besides that, I think I'll have what I need living here. So I hope, but that's, you know, that could be a good 30 years away. So anything can happen 30 years, but I doubt as many uh, home care facilities and all that businesses around here, I don't think this place is going to go ghost town overnight. <laughs> That's silly over there. Someone brought in their own rocks. And looks out of place. And it cost too much to haul it. Doesn't make any sense. There's a little taco place here. State place up to the Oregon Lottery right up there. There's a little Pluto's dog house. You can play lotto. Machines. A little apartment here with solar. Here to the Quakers. Pull over so this this guy can get around me. Quakers say torture is a moral issue. Friends Church. I better make up my mind before I start annoying people. I guess I got ten more minutes. I'll go venture into my back door. Take time to do earlier today. Walnut trees here shed a lot of leaves, a lot of leaves, and so yesterday for a good three, four hours I was raking leaves and putting them in bags and filling up both these canisters here, plus three more black bags pooped. This is my neighbor in his car, I'm going to go say hi after I'm done with this. Film the camera though. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I swept this set of stairs yesterday. <laughs> so badly I raked this yesterday. But this was of course covered, just absolutely covered in in leaves like it is over there on the left. I gotta get rid of some of this briar bush. This is the hilly area. Uh, at one point, I was thinking of um, putting a staircase on the left there and go up alongside the fence. This gets kind of steep. Maybe putting something up here. Who knows? And this is our neighbor to the back. This, I guess, used to be a tree. And as I've been able to bring rocks over here, I just have them collect. <clears throat> the weeds in this backyard get almost as high as this fence. They're not very thick. If they're, you know, so if you don't, right now we've got a guy coming in here to do our yard. Uh, looks like we need, we need to do a little bit of work here. Trees died or something? 
Not sure. I need to cut back some of this bush. Maybe. And that's it. So it's not a, not a yard you can play baseball in. You can see our roof. Of course, we don't have direct TV. There's our deck. There's some brick path that Debbie worked on. And behind that is some cement where the doorway used to be before the house was remodeled. This whole back area here is basically the master bedroom. I think either used to be a separate laundry for a short while or was used as a laundry at one point. Um, was added on. The house used to be just east-west that I was, you know, I didn't own it when it happened, but I could tell. Uh, the attic area is small, concealed in the area that I've been in that part of the attic in the front, but not the one facing my direction. And you, these look like they may be walnut trees. I'm not I need, need some pruning. Now uh, this hill gets full, right on this hilly area, it gets, it's really hard to mow. And then you see that big boulder back there, boulders I was talking about, there they are. They're just, Mount Chasta from here, it's covered by clouds, but in the distance, the center distance out there, way back, you know, if, if it was a clear day, you'd see a very small hill that's Mount Chasta, and that would have spewed up as volcanic debris, these big, large chunks of rock that have landed all the way this far. You tell how powerful the volcanoes were at one point. It's not an active volcano at this time, but you never know, or at least dangerously active. Now, right here, conceivably, in this area, um, it may be that our neighbor owns this part, I'm not sure, but conceivably there could be a home here and a drive. And I'm going to run out of batteries pretty soon, this will be the last. That's probably the boringest part because I'm wandering around my backyard. Also, sometimes um, we get some wasps. And here, looks like. It's like some kind of animal's been a digging. Hmm. There are there are skunks in this area. I've never seen a, a prairie dog. I have seen a skunk on our deck. This area right here, the erosion's great. At one point, I had this um, flattened about flattened out about say this wide, and then a drop of about two foot lengths. You can barely see the remnants of it now. The soil is uh, is only mostly held by the fact that there's vegetation. You can see the tire, tire tracks here hold it up. Here's our old clothesline that we're think, you know, thinking we might want to get rid of, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to accomplish that. This is a wasp trap. trap. It's evidently fell. Sometimes the wasps like to build their nests up here. We haven't seen them recently. This is the kind of thickness of leaves that we're on. Even thicker than that, all the way in here that I did. Although I have still some remnants right here. It was dark, I couldn't see well. This area is where I was supposed to build a fence, but I just, it's beyond my skill. I tried, I, you know, I had the math worked out, and I can see, but it's got to be a flat, it's got to be a level area first. And then you got to, um, first post would go in here, but then. I made a mistake, I didn't get the right, I didn't follow the exact directions, and it's too hard for me to dig a hole in there, in the ground at the time I was working on it, so I've given up on it. These things are a pita. <laughs> um, you cut them back and they just grow, and then all these leaves get stuck in them. This right here was a hollow area when we first bought the place, since covered up. This is the staircase I get to either sho shovel snow off of or rake leaves off of, depending on what time of year it is, except for summer. We've got a basement. 
one. Place definitely needs some paint, so I guess I'll just stop.